Good evening, everyone. Being a good person. According to the Pew Report that uh, came out in 2020, it's one of the top ideas and concepts that's important to uh, American Jews. Under that phrase, if let's say that was a heading on an outline, so the indented first modifier doesn't exist. It's not clear, based on the Pew Report, what is considered to American Jews to be a good person. It's not clear what's the litmus test, what's the qualifying criteria to which a person can point to an action or a thought or a behavior, cognition, and say, this means I'm a good person. In the research, it doesn't seem to exist. But we probably all can resonate with the idea that it's good to be a good person, right? That's what Jews should do. And historically, that would seem to be the case. Many American Jews were front and center in the American Civil Rights Movement. Many of them were killed. Many of them were beaten up. Many of them were thrown in jail for their involvement in helping to uh, liberate the African-American who was living in the South during the 60s. Many American Jews have contributed tremendously to, to, uh, to society through charitable organizations. And there's an, it's, we're not trying to take away from that. But it's important to realize that just because American Jews believe quite strongly, it's very important to be a good person Judaism, the Torah, has a different spin on that. In short, being a good person is just not enough. It's important, but it's not the be-all and end-all for why God put us on his beautiful world. And we have two concepts that prove this point in this week's parasha, parashas va'aschanon. The first one is the Ten Commandments, the Aseris Hadibros. In this week's parasha, we have a review of the Ten Commandments. If you look closely, not many of them would qualify under this rubric of being a good person. Believing in God, why does that mean I'm a good person? Keeping Shabbos, why does that make me a good person? Don't kill, don't steal, does that qualify as a good person? No, it means you're not a megalomaniac. It means you're not trying to destroy society. Right? People who kill other people are called murderers or terrorists. People who steal are not considered people to whom we would aspire. So that's not what the, what the Ten Commandments, to, to say that being a good person is so important to Judaism, one could make the claim that most of the Ten Commandments, most of the Aserah Sedibros, have nothing to do with being a good person from the rubric of society. Again, not murdering someone doesn't make you a good person. It means you're normal. It means you're a normal human being. Granted, it's important to God that we don't kill, that we don't steal. But it's hard to say that that would mean that a person would qualify under being a good person. In fact, I would wager that just about Three, 30% 30 of the Ten Commandments would qualify under being a good person. Honoring your father and mother, not being jealous of other people, and not lying. I would say the other seven have nothing to do with being a good person. Again, they're important, but one qualifies being a good person. That's proof number one from our parsha that, being, that just being a good person is not what being a Jew is, a, is all about. The second idea is later in this week's parsha. It's in, in chapter 6, verse number 8, Pasuk Vav, I'm sorry, Perik Vav Pasuk Ches, Vasisa Hayasher Ba'atov, and you should do that which is proper and that which is good, Be'enei Hashem, in the eyes of God, not in the eyes of mankind. This shows that just Go aiming for being a good person doesn't cut it. 
Because good according to who? Good according to who? I feel like someone in the, in the, in the comment section is going to say good according to whom. I'm not sure if that's grammatically correct or not, but in the back of my head, I'm like, should I say who or whom? I'm going with who. Could be wrong, and I apologize to all the people who would be offended, but I'm going with who right now. Good according to who? It's good according to Hashem. It's not good according to what mankind says and believes. What's the difference? The difference is, is that the opinions of mankind shift according to what's popular. 1950s McCarthyism, if you believed in socialism, if you believed in communism, your career, your job, your family, your social status, everything you loved and believed in was at risk. If you were suspected of being a socialist, you could be kicked out of your job, you could be banned from schools, you could lose everything to which you were aspiring. <coughs> now, socialism is in vogue in many political circles. And I'm not saying one is right or wrong, I'm just pointing out that if you try to look at what society defines as good, what being a good person is, back in the 1950s being a good person meant you were patriotic. You were standing up against the Reds, the Communists, the Socialists. They were going to take over your life, your way of life. Hide your kids, hide your wife, they were coming for you. Right, the movie Red Dawn from 1984 about America being invaded by the Soviet Union, destroying the American way of life. 1950s, oh my God, they're coming for you. Now, if a person isn't expressing what's called woke culture, they could be ostracized, they could be canceled. If you're trying to go for tenure at certain universities, you could have that tenure denied. And I'm not saying one is right or wrong, but note the polls. In about 70 years, how we went from one all the way to the other. And there are many other examples in American society where you can note a change. Another example is the tough on crime. In the early 90s, Politicians were bending over backwards to be more tough on crime than the next guy. Now, bail reform, bond reform, sentencing reform, expunging drug records. Again, I'm not making a, a stance as to whether something is, is right or wrong, but note the change. But following the, the mantra of Yassis of Hayash Tov Hashem, that's constant. God's beautiful Torah has not changed in thousands of years. It's the same Torah, it's the same Bible that Moses came down and transmitted to the Jewish people. That's not changing. That's constant. Ladies and gentlemen, being a good person, in other words, not being a jerk, is important. Taking care of your fellow man, extremely important. We've talked about Similar ideas in this series before. I'm all for it. Five stars, two enthusiastic thumbs up. 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, maybe 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. Very important. But that's not enough. God doesn't want us to settle on being good people. God wants us to be great people. Maimonides says that each person is going to be evaluated at the end of their life by the Almighty. Did we fulfill our potential like Moses, like Moshe Rabbeinu did? Judaism is all about not leaving anything on the table. And when you have 613 mitzvahs, it means there are plenty of opportunities to get closer and closer to God. Don't be good enough. Be great. Have a good job.